Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi and um, good morning. Uh, in this uh, series of uh, lectures, we will be looking at the topic of uh, adjusting the accounts. Uh, so, like uh, you have uh, read in the first part of the learning uh, learning path, um, the learning objective of this topic is firstly to explain uh, the accrual basis of accounting and the reasons uh, for adjusting entries. And then we will be preparing adjusting entries for two two major categories. One is for de deferrals and the other is for accruals. And fourthly, we will describe the nature and purpose of an adjusted um, tri-balance. Okay. Okay. So firstly, before we uh, dive into the uh, adjusting entries, there are certain uh, concepts um, that we need to understand, um, very basic concepts in accounting, okay? um, which is the uh, time period assumption. Okay? When, we, when we prepare our accounts, uh, the accountants will make an assumption which we call as a time period assumption uh, where accountants divide the economic life of a business into artificial time periods okay um, so we have some sort of a calendar okay calendar for for our accounts okay so we um, basically uh, businesses run uh, we divide the um, uh, business uh, activities into time periods um, month, uh, yearly time period, quarterly time period, or uh, monthly time period. Okay. Um, so we can imagine the time period as a, is a, like a virtual thing. Uh, there, actually, there's no significant thing happen when um, when this certain time period uh, is uh, is over. For example, your birthday nothing actually happens on your 20th birthday uh, nothing actually happens to your physical self on your 20th birthday but you uh, would um, virtually uh, divide your um, your life into uh, time periods okay you will give yourself your um, celebration on your birthday but your actual physical self doesn't have any um, significance in terms of turning into a different year for your birthday uh, similarly uh, businesses um, they divide their um, business into accounting periods or time period okay um, so in businesses uh, we call these time periods as fiscal year okay so fiscal year is different from the calendar year so we know that calendar year starts from january and ends uh, on December, well, depending on which calendar you, that you use. I'm sure um, the Chinese have uh, their own calendars, okay? Uh, the Muslims uh, have their own calendar. Uh, they have their, their own months. So similarly, businesses have uh, what they call as fiscal years. Um, and uh, a fiscal year in accounting is a, is a one-year period. But it does not correspond to, it does not necessarily correspond to start uh, from January and ends on December. But it can uh, start anytime within the year. So if a business uh, decides to have its fine, uh, fiscal year to start on 1st of June, then the end of the fiscal year would be on 31st May the following year. Okay? but it will be a one year period okay so uh, businesses they uh, produce their financial reports according to the fiscal year uh, sometimes they produce interim rec reports uh, to have a much um, shorter period of time uh, instead of the fiscal year so a company will have a fiscal year but sometimes they produce interim report interim reports to show their performance uh, quarterly, three months uh, performance or six months performance or monthly performance, uh, which which will be the interim interim periods. 